So uh, first thing on the uh, list is, um, hey, maybe finally let's uh, change the name of this meeting. Um, so who just suggested this? Kadir? Yeah, I'm not sure if I suggested that, but yes, I yes. would suggest that. How about... Um, maybe we should put the word Subo there. I don't know. I'm just worried about people who come across this and they'll say platform, which platform? Yeah, well, we can call it support platform meeting. Sure, no. support platform meeting. How about that? Okay. Okay, done. All right. <laughs> I see somebody All trying right. to trying to add stuff at the bottom, so please keep adding stuff because I forgot to send this out ahead of time. All of that, so mm -hmm. keep adding. Um, there was a to-do thing from last week about me sending an email, and uh, I failed at that, so I will do that today. I um, I learned my lesson. If I do not add it to my to-do list, it does not get done. So <laughs> that's the thing. Like it's one thing to have it here, but if this does not get copied and pasted to the to-do list, forget it. So what's that, your yak shaving uh, to-do list tool? I use things. Okay. Um, it's nice. Now finally syncs with your phone and whatnot. So if you happen to be somewhere away from your computer, free service or do you have to pay for that? No, it's freaking expensive. Yeah. It's not a service like you just pay for the app, but the app's freaking expensive. Okay. Yeah. But I, everyone who uses it loves it, but I'm not going down that rabbit hole. Yeah. All right. Next. Next. Michael and Roland to talk to user advocacy about hot topics and articles to archive. Done. We did yes. that. I archived some articles. I took stuff out of Hot Topics. Um, there's a couple of discussions to have about um, some some articles. I'll start those discussions. But and eventually, uh, we'll be able to archive the Babylon article. Yeah. Ooh. So for for those of you uh, I, I, l watching this video later or something, um, uh, Matt, maybe you want to talk about you want to talk about progress on Babylon. That's pretty awesome. Yes, so uh, we've got a project going on. It's a joint project with the AMO team, and it's called Project Squeaky. And the goal of Project Squeaky is to make our add-ons environment squeaky clean once again. Um, so we've been working a lot with third-party add-on developers to try to, uh, A, ensure that they're following our policies, and you know B, just to build relationships with them. Um, so we see a lot of uh, posts on the forum about Babylon. It, it had been one of our uh, hot topics for the last couple of years. You know, people uh, end up with the Babylon toolbar installed and they can't figure out how to get rid of it. Uh, so we spent a lot of time working with the Babylon developers. And uh, now there's a new version of Babylon out where they have uh, updated everything to comply with all of our policies. And now when you uninstall the add-on, it sets all of your preferences back to default which is great, so if you don't want the Babylon toolbar, uh, all you do is uninstall it and everything is back to normal. Um, so we're seeing a pretty dramatic decrease in page views to that article, and uh, we're seeing an even more significant decrease in uh, forum posts about uh, people with Babylon issues. So uh, it's, it's great. Thanks to everybody who worked on the project. Uh, Tyler, Michael, David was involved, all the AMO guys. Um, lots of good stuff coming out. Jorge and Jeff Griffiths. Yes. Yeah, Jeff Griffith's wife is, oh, forget it. Uh, he's, uh, he's awesome. He's in Vancouver. That's it. Plug in the Vancouver. I'm the, almost as awesome as Portland. Next. <laughs> that was, is that a, another Canadian thing? Like, we're awesome. Well, almost as awesome as Portland. <laughs> we're fine with that. And, it's okay. Sorry. We're almost as awesome as the Boston, you know, Bruins. We almost <laughs> won. Sorry that we almost said we were as awesome as you. <laughs> you could be a Canadian, Michael. <laughs> Actually. Uh, <laughs> so let's see. Um, what else is... Um, uh, I was looking through the, the sumo meeting from Monday that I wasn't at, but um, mm. there was uh, some nice plugs for localizing um, support videos. So I had put together some quick instructions for localizing uh, support videos and I just went through and added um, which articles have videos to localize. There's like four of them. 
there's there's more videos on Sumo, but they're um, they're very they're old and not worth localizing now because they're soon to be they need to be updated. So, um, and they're longer, more complicated videos that I cannot recreate today. So um, anyway, long story short, there's like four new videos to localize and instructions about how to do that. And basically you have to contact me and I can give you stuff to localize uh, videos. Um, this is a, I also put a link here to the Firefox OS article localization plan, just so people know every week for the next bunch of weeks, Michelle will mark um, articles ready to localize. So there's the ones from last week on there now. I guess uh, tomorrow she will mark five more ready to localize. Um, and that's the place to follow that. Um, what else? So these are things that Kadir just added. You want to talk about these, Kadir? Yeah, so um, two things. Uh, so just just this is not a surprise that this is not a surprise. Um, we are talking about how we can support the uh, Firefox OS launch, and one of those things that we can do is reach out to users uh, with uh, educational material. And one way to reach them is uh, through a newsletter. So what we want to do is in cooperation uh, with uh, actually I don't know what the name of the team is, but William Reynolds is leading it. Um, and uh, they're, they're getting mobilizers uh, on board, and they're uh, essentially getting ready to launch Firefox OS. So we are supporting them with this action. It's essentially uh, putting uh, a newsletter uh, sign up on, on our page, specifically for Firefox OS users who come to, to the site. Um, that is one thing that we're doing. The other thing that we want to do is we want to support their, their mobilizers, those who are very engaged um, Mozilla users who are supposed to um, get other people engaged and um, show them show, show them Firefox and show them what the advantages of Firefox OS are. So we want to support them by giving them a chance to easily ask questions in our support forums. So that when they don't know an answer to something, that they can ask us that they know where to go to get their questions answered. And essentially, we're doing this anyway uh, for users, but uh, this would be about extending it to um, to mobilizers so that they can ask questions on behalf of other people. Um, yeah, I think this is more of a heads up, uh, unless someone has uh, serious um, issues with this. Uh, but if not, just so that no one is surprised if people come up in the forums and ask for other people. Yeah, Michael. I have questions, not issues. Um, so the email newsletter, this is a Firefox OS specific newsletter, different than the regular like Mozilla and me newsletter Thing. That's that's how I understood it. Um, that's also why I suggested that uh, you uh, work with them actually on, on doing okay. that. But uh, you know, it seems to me like a lot of that stuff is still in flux. I don't know if there is already a newsletter that they are putting together and sending out. What I uh, just just uh, said was that we can actually do that on our end. We can uh, get people who come to Sumo and offer them a newsletter. So, but could we do that only on? Firefox OS articles? Do we have that ability? Or would it be on uh, all articles? Well, that's a good question. I don't. I haven't filed the bugs yet. Um, but okay. It would probably be for people. So it would be on Firefox OS devices. People coming to us from Firefox OS, and they are looking at Firefox OS articles uh, usually. Um, so the the exact uh, technical implementation. There is no bug yet. Once gotcha. once okay. I file the bug, it will be in there. But either we will look at people who come from uh, Firefox OS, like from Firefox OS devices, uh, through the settings uh, link, and it will be, or from in product links, or we will put this on Firefox OS articles. Because I don't think, if I remember correctly, we don't have a way to tell uh, whether someone is actually on a Firefox OS device. Correct, yeah. That Not was one work. of our issues, like, because we couldn't do any kind of show for or something. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah. OK. Um, and then, the, so mobilizers in the support forum, is that, so is the idea, I'm trying to help, I'm helping uh, my friend Kadir, and, and uh, I don't know the answer to his question. So I'm going to ask a question on the support forum. 
or I'm going to go ask a question in the contributor forum. What are we talking about? No, this is about the support forum. So oh. essentially, leveraging our yeah, this is about leveraging our platform to answer those questions too. It's essentially about things like um, how do you import uh, your uh, uh, what is it called uh, iCloud uh, contacts into Firefox OS. So we we probably don't have an article about that, or we might. So we might not have an article about that, and people are getting asked that question. So they ask us, we give them the answer. Right. Don't we already have that they, feature? I mean, when when the products when we ship, we'll have the ask a question flow for Firefox OS, right? Yeah. So this is this is not a technical thing. This is about. Um, like advertising that to mobilizers and oh. us being prepared for that. Okay, sorry, I wasn't. That's what I didn't understand. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, we already have the platform. Uh, we we have the contributors. So essentially, it's it's just we we want to advertise to them that this is something that they can use as a service, so to say. Right. Okay. D does it? Did I ask everybody else's questions? Anybody else have questions about this stuff? Is it clear? I'm the only one? OK. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, I added this thing just to let people know. Uh, I, I put a little line here, share template in the helpfulness survey. So there was a bug about making the helpfulness survey at the bottom of the article more noticeable. And I think uh, the idea was to, to put like a blue box around it, just some different styling. Um, but uh, one thing that seemed to be getting in the way is the, is the um, share this article template, which also has like the blue notes st styling and is really long and verbose. So I changed it. Um, so now if you look at the bottom of an article, there's just a simple line that says share this article with the link. Um, uh, so much more simple. I mean, I don't think this is a very, um, it's not a big part of the article. It's not the major call to action. This is mainly for contributors who are trying to give a short link to someone, especially like over Twitter. Um, so it doesn't have to be so prominent in the article. Um, that kind of thing. Just so FYI. Um, that is everything on this Etherpad. I don't know if other people, if you guys have more things you want to talk about. Other, um, oh, I know. Sorry, one other thing to let people know. Um, next week we're gonna have uh, Bill. What's Bill's last name? Bill Selman from User uh, Research. Uh, yes. Yes. Oops, I, I should look that up. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, yeah. I. Yep. Yeah. Bill from think... User Research is gonna come. Who lives in Portland? Who lives in Portland? That's right, and uh, and we're gonna spend uh, most, if not all, of the meeting. He's gonna do a presentation about the user research findings from their project Meta, the thing that um, they've been working on for like six months or more. Um, it included interviews in the field with people, um, which I got to spend a a, a week. Uh, with uh, some of the user research team doing, which is really awesome. Um, it included um, uh, diary studies and then um, uh, something else too, right? Um, a, a survey, like online survey or something that, that they did with people. Um, so they, um, they took uh, Firefox users and categorized them these kind of people are interested and concerned about this. These kind of people are interested and concerned about this. Like what percentage of our, of the population of Firefox users, like the wizards, they're like 1%. They're the people who are like, you know, they're wizards with Firefox and computers and stuff. And they're like 1% of our user base. They're also often very vocal too, because they know Bugzilla and <laughs> mailing lists and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and they know but, how to find input. Right, exactly. They know how to find input <laughs> and <laughs> and all those kinds of great things. So, but anyway, so we'll get uh, we'll get a, a presentation about all of that and and uh, maybe some ideas about um, how we can better serve P 
people in those different populations too. Right, Michael, it was desktop focused and it was North America focused, right? Correct. Yeah, okay. Yep. Cool. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, okay, sorry, um, I've been talking and talking. Anything else from people? Oh, this is going to be a short one again. Wow. <laughs> 20 minutes, that's like a record. All right. All right. All right. We're going to have a lot cool. more in the coming weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yay, short one. All right. Thanks. Have uh, 40 back. minutes of your life back. Thank talk, you. Talk to you Everyone. later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.